The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. If a man wishes to follow me, he must deny his very self, take up his cross, and begin to follow in my footsteps. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. A few moments of reflection, especially with this great cross upon us individually and in our society, in fact, in the entire world. My dear brothers and sisters, as Christians, suffering should never be something that is meaningless, nor should it be ever wasted. Our model is Christ. What is sometimes paradoxical is that we are always reminded again and again, especially during this Lenten season of the cross. Our prayers, even at meal times, begin and end with the sign of the cross. We always have crosses and crucifixes with us. Our rosaries have crucifixes. But what is sometimes uh, confusing or even surprising is that when the cross arrives in our lives, we suddenly can react in a very in a way that is very very shocking. We are surprised by it. We are shocked by the cross, even angered by the cross, and therefore we can lose a lot of merit and graces. My dear brothers and sisters, as Christians, we betrayed our whole lives for spiritual warfare, especially in carrying cross as well, for the sake of redemption, for the sake of salvation. And this is now our challenge, my dear brothers and sisters. Remember that in the, when Jesus was crucified, there were two people beside him who were also crucified. And there were people in front of, in front of him. We can be one of these two types of people, two types of Catholics. We can be like those that when Jesus was hanging on the cross, dying, we shout at him saying, come down from the cross and we will believe. We will believe if you heal us. And there are those who share the cross with Jesus, the good thief, who tells us, Lord, Remember me when you enter paradise. This is a true Christian. And now the good thief, although he suffered and died on the cross, now lives eternally in the infinite bliss and joy of the three eternal love of God. It is very present and very serious difficulty, this very crisis that is purifying the world and us personally. If it doesn't change us or make us holier, this cross can be wasted for all eternity. Yes, this crisis will end. It will end. We can be assured of that. But will we have become better people because of it? Would we be the good thief or the people commanding even God, Jesus, to come down for them to believe? Let us therefore remember that during the greatest of crises, the greatest of saints were born. And therefore, we ask for the grace that we too may carry the cross like Jesus and Mama Mary. I would like to quote from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Christ suffered in the flesh and therefore arm yourselves with the same mentality. But we are a people of hope because in John chapter 16, verse 22, Jesus tells us, in the same way you are sad for a time, but I shall see you again. Then your hearts will rejoice with the joy no one can take from you. Amen.